Also happening today, calls for change. Community advocates are demanding accountability and transparency in the death of LaShawn Thompson, whose family says he was eaten alive by bed bugs and other insects. The group says it also is calling on Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt to step down. The event starts today at 2 at Woodruff Park on Peachtree Street. A 14 year old girl shot at dance practice is now recounting those terrifying moments. Nevea Hogue was one of the two children hit by the same bullet. She was shot in the arm. The other girl, also named Nevea, who's only five years old, was shot in the eye. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn spoke to the teen who says she tried to protect the other little girl. I just screamed for help. That's all I do. Nevea Hogue says she had just put down her things on Wednesday afternoon as their dance practice got underway. We came back to the front. We went near near the glass. Hogue, along with five-year-old Nevea Brown, were standing near each other. It was like a couple minutes later, so I just looked out the window. I like I saw commotion, and then next thing I know, I saw a gun. My instinct is to just grab whoever's closest to me, but when I tried to grab her, my arm, like I felt my arm just started to go numb and my ears started ringing, so I couldn't hear anything. She says it took a second to realize she'd been shot. We all started running to the back. As we're running to the back, I fall. That's when I hit my arm. That's how I knew I was shot. Hogue was hit in the arm, and five-year-old Nevaeh Brown was shot in the eye. They said that my daughter's arm actually slowed the bullet down. Um, just because it, it had to pierce through her first. A brave young lady who likely saved this little girl's life thanks to her quick thinking. I'm, I'm a proud mom. I'm proud. Athens-Clark County police say the bullet that hit the girls came from a shootout in the parking lot between a group of people. So far, only one person has been arrested. On Thursday, we spoke to the five-year-old's mother. The child has undergone two surgeries on her eye since Wednesday's shooting. We have much more on this story on 11alive.com.